Ever imagine how fast the speed of light really is? It's a question that's puzzled and fascinated scientists for centuries. The speed of light is a key player in some of the most groundbreaking theories and everyday occurrences. It's the cosmic speed limit, if you will. At an astounding 299,792 kilometers per second, it's the fastest speed in the universe and nothing, absolutely nothing, can surpass it. This speed isn't just a haphazard figure, it's a constant, a universal truth that underpins Einstein's theory of relativity and allows us to understand the very nature of space and time. From the smallest spark of a firefly to the most distant galaxies, the speed of light is at work, shaping our reality. So, the speed of light is not just a number, it's a fundamental part of our universe. And remember, subscribe to my channel for videos that make complex science simple. Now that we know what the speed of light is, can we comprehend how fast it really is? This question might seem simple, but the answer is truly astounding. Let's bring it down to Earth, so to speak. Imagine you're standing at the equator, watching a beam of light zoom past you. In the blink of an eye, that beam of light could circle the entire Earth not once, not twice, but seven and a half times, all in a single second. That's seven and a half laps around our planet in the time it takes you to blink. Incredible, isn't it? Now let's look beyond our planet. The Sun, the fiery heart of our solar system, is about 93 million miles away from us. Now, if you were to drive there at a steady 60 miles per hour, it would take you approximately 176 years to reach it. But a beam of light? It covers that immense distance in about 8 minutes and 20 seconds. Yes, you heard it right. The light that you see when you look at the sun is actually 8 minutes and 20 seconds old. This speed of light is more than just a fascinating fact. It shapes our perception of the universe itself. Let's take the stars, for example. The starlight we see on a clear night has traveled unimaginable distances to reach us. Some of that starlight has been journeying for millions, even billions of years. Therefore, when we gaze up at the stars, we're not seeing them as they are now, we're seeing them as they were in the past. The light from a star that's a billion light years away offers us a billion-year-old snapshot of that star. We're literally looking back in time. So when we gaze up at the stars, we're actually looking into the past. Pretty mind-boggling, isn't it? And don't forget, subscribe to my channel for more videos that unravel the mysteries of the universe. You might ask, why can't anything go faster than the speed of light? Well, strap in, because we're about to dive into one of the most mind-bending concepts in physics. Einstein's theory of relativity. This theory, which revolutionized our understanding of the universe, suggests that nothing can travel faster than light. So why is this? To answer that, let's consider what happens when an object approaches the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory, as an object gets closer and closer to the speed of light, something fascinating happens. Its mass starts to increase. Imagine you're pushing a car. The faster you try to push it, the heavier it seems to get. This isn't because the car is packing on pounds. Rather, it's your perception of the car's mass that's changing. The same thing happens with particles approaching the speed of light. Their mass appears to increase, demanding more and more energy to keep accelerating. But here's the kicker. To reach the speed of light or to exceed it would require infinite energy. That's right, infinite. As in, more energy than exists in the entire universe. That's a pretty tall order, to say the least. So while we can't break this cosmic speed limit, understanding the speed of light gives us a deeper understanding of our universe. It's a testament to the remarkable power of science and human curiosity that we can even grapple with such profound concepts. Remember, if you're curious about the cosmos and want to bring it closer to home, subscribe to my channel for videos that explore the mysteries of the universe. We're always pushing the boundaries of knowledge, asking the big questions, and seeking the truth wherever it may lead us. Until next time, keep wondering, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep learning.